Hey everyone. So after a lot of messing around at the auction house over the weekend and uh, trying a few different things, I have a really nice shuffle for you to try that's pretty straightforward and very quick. So in this video, the bulk of the recording was over 7 minutes and 24 seconds. So in that time, I was able to make one gold using this method. Now, for the sake of you watching, I did have to speed up in places and interrupt the footage with other things. But for the most part, what you see here is something straightforward that you can do yourself. So to get started then, you'll need a profession slot free to pick up enchanting. That's the first most important thing that you're going to need. And then you'll just need to go over to the auction house and buy all green unqu uncommon quality weapons that you can find for under five silver. So this is ones, um, except the enchant crafted ones as you can't disenchant those. Bows, guns, swords, axes, any weapons that you can find basically. I try to stay under four silver and 90 copper when I'm buying. Um, that's mainly because I don't want to push the prices up like accidentally. I try and be like a little bit, a little bit conservative with it. But I have noticed on my realm that some people are buying up everything all the way up to five silver, 25 copper. So it's quite possible that there's more leeway to this than I've been using anyway. If you can't find any, then just try later on. I've price checked on a bunch of realms over the weekend and they were all pretty solid. So once your shopping's out of the way, you can start to disenchant them. Keep disenchanting as many as you've found. You'll need to use one strange dust and one lesser magic essence to make a ruined copper rod. And then finish off with all your disenchanting and you should have more than enough skill points to train up lesser magic ones. So this is the first part of the shuffle. When you craft your lesser magic wand, each lesser magic essence is worth just under 5 silver to you. Every weapon you disenchant has a 20% chance of strange dust and an 80% chance of a lesser magical essence. Now, there's also a chance that they could proc two rather than one. So every time you disenchant a weapon and it gives you a strange dust, then that's basically a free silver loss. However, every time you disenchant and get two lesser magic essences instead of one, that is a five silver gain. So there's a small amount of RNG involved in this one if you're only disenchanting small numbers, but overall this is a great shuffle. Once you've added your simple wood and crafted your ones, you can either sell at the auction house or you can just vendor them. If you sell at the auction house, then make sure that you're actually getting value for that. You would not believe the number of people that I've seen in the city over the weekend who have been selling their ones in trade for actually less than the vendor price. Um, I don't really understand it myself, um, but there you go. So keep going with the lesser ones until you can craft the greater magic ones and then swap to those. Um, you only need one simple wood to free essences for the greater magic ones. So it's a slightly better margin and it's less crafting too. This method also gets you to 150 enchanting without needing to, to hawk your wares on the cold streets of Stormwind at all there as well. So in summary then, we are literally buying all the weapons that we can find on the auction house for under 5 silver. So all of the green weapons that cost under 5 silver, buying all of them and then using those to craft greater magic ones. Once we've crafted the ones, we can either sell them on the auction house um, if the price looks okay. Alternatively, we can just vendor them for good profits. It's very, very quick and easy. So a few tips then. Um, firstly, you can bind the enchant button if you use TSM, so Trade Skill Master add-on. Um, after it's bound, if you only have one screen, you can shrink Warcraft to a small size, put on Netflix, and then just press the button every now and then. Or you can use a second one off. That's something people do too. <laughs> the other thing is that because we're using a vendor for this shuffle, you don't have to worry about the price slipping at all. You don't you don't need to do all the work for this one in one go. You can literally go on the shopping spree and leave it all in the mailbox while you actually play the game. Then once it suits you, you just go back and make your gold all in one go. As a quick side note, I'm currently selling my strange dust on the auction house. Um, it's currently at around one silver a unit. The minor wizard oils or mana oils that you'd usually use for this aren't in the game yet. There's a shipment supplies box that does ask for two minor wizard oil. So it's possibly an oversight and it's going to get brought in. Um, although the fact that there's a specific black fathom deep soil suggests it's probably unlikely. Um, I hope you found this useful. Let me know how it goes if you try it. And please do remember to take a moment to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Bye.